All right, so today we're just gonna do a uh, like some door seal installs on here. What we're gonna be using it's a it's just like a rubbery plastic um, floorboard or a baseboard that they use for industrial use, like schools and stuff. The person who gave us this idea was oh yeah about that. It's a channel here on YouTube, so this is his idea. But we're gonna try it out on my brother's car. And maybe I'll do it on mine if it comes out good. It's a pretty good idea, so we're going to try it out. Shout out to Oya oh yeah, about that. Alright, so to cut this up, you just basically use scissors and just trim this up. This is the piece that came off. It's like the door seal, like plate thing, holder for the Miata, the door runner thing. And then we just basically cut it. You just line it up and cut it however long you want it it doesn't matter um, it's all preference but we're gonna see if we get this on there clean we'll be right back all right so now my brother he's just cutting off that piece with the razor he's gonna try to get it straight there it's all lined up Yep, he just got the line started. I hope these scissors cut. They're kind of crappy. Harbor Freight scissors. They were free. Yeah, they were free. All right, so we got it all trimmed up, and he's happy with the way it looks there. So the next thing you're going to do is uh, this thing here has just um, it just has that thing sticking out. So we're just going to cut into this like a little circle around. That way it could fit in. Yeah, just a little notch. So instead of going back and measuring it, you're just going to take the other strip. This one's on cut. You're going to take the cut one, just put it next to it. So you can see there we took off some and then we'll probably just put it up and then we'll just trim it up again based on that. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there we go. All right, so as you can see there, we just kind of cut out the shape. That's because, remember, this has to go in. So let's... Just want to tuck that up in there. See, let's see how it looks. Basically, once you get that cover back on, you just go on to put the screws in. Though that material soft enough that the screws, the stock screws, they'll just go straight back in. So you don't got to worry about drilling holes or nothing. You just poke it straight through and drill it down with a little bit of force with the Harbor Freight screwdriver. The number one choice, Pittsburgh. We have to go all the way to America to pick these up. We have a store in Mexico. It's called Harba Freight. But it's not as good. So. What? Harba Freite? Yeah, Harba Freite. It's how they say it in Spanish. But yeah, I actually like the way this is coming out. We'll probably slap some on the other Miata. One of the other Miatas. All right, so that's the finished product there. It looks it looks really good. I actually like this mod. It just seems like it goes with the car good, cause those the metal seal plates are real expensive, but for four bucks you could do this. Go down to Home Depot. It's not bad. Yeah, it's real easy to do. Makes your car look ten times better. Better and than having to pay Ricardo. And it's a great way to stay in shape.